friends welcome to this week's reading vlog today we are going to start this vlog with a little unboxing this is an exciting unboxing because i don't know what we're going to unbox i am like 60 percent sure what's in this box do you really know do you really know but this one i'm not a hundred percent sure so why don't we Ooh, and this is also really heavy so why don't we Go ahead and open them together, see what's inside. Why don't we start with the little mystery box first? Yes! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this one. Okay, this is the newest release of Junji Ito. It's called Ramena. I have no clue what this is about, but this is probably the shortest Junji Ito book that I have read. And I am so excited to see what his scarily intense brain has come up with. I am ready to be scared crapless. I am ready to just dive into this new, horrible, terrifying story. Oh my god. 
look, it's stunning. So it turns out that this box wasn't actually a mystery. They just separated my order and shipped a book ahead of the others instead of putting it all in a single order. Who understands Amazon? Nobody. I mean, now I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Let's just open it. Okay, um, I'm confused, but let's see. Huh? Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold up, shut the front door. What is this? Wait, no, wait, I am gonna cry. I am literally so overwhelmed right now. Like y'all don't even understand. Okay, this is a box. I am suddenly so hot, I cannot take this. This box has three books that I did not order that were sent to me by Nicole, who I think is an angel that has been cosplaying as a human so far because like, who does this? I can't, okay, let's just go one by one. This is the first book that I, <laughs> you have no idea how much I have wanted this book. Like I was so close every single day. Like it's in my cart right now, but I've never like, you know, completed the order. You have no idea how much I've wanted to buy this book and finally read it. And one of you guys in the comments actually recommended it and that's what sparked my interest again. And Nicole got it for me. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is one of the most beautiful books and I've heard so many devastating and beautiful things about this book. Like right up my alley, of course, after I read Addie, why not read more books that are going to devastate me? Like that's what I love apparently. Oh, Nicole, wait, oh my God. She also, oh my God. Like, I don't, are you my fairy godmother? I don't understand what's going on. She also got me The Girl Who Drank the Moon. This I recently put into my wish list because I saw that it was one of Emmy's new favorite books and just the way that she was talking about it and how she described it to be so magical and wonderful and very beautifully written, like literally right up my alley. It checks all of the boxes. So I really wanted to read this one. This is, a middle grade, I believe. I don't know. Oh my God, it comes with a colored in map. Nicole, I can't believe you've done this, but <laughs> she didn't just get me two of the books that I've really been wanting to read. She also like, I can't, y'all are not ready for this. Like Nicole, um, Nicole, holy crap. This is a cement block. <laughs> Y'all don't understand the amount of happiness that this box has brought me. Like, I am so close to tears. I'm not even, like, I wish I were kidding. I'm literally so emotional right now. Um, she got me. <laughs> Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna sob into eternity. Like, she, I don't, how did she manage to choose the three books that I was most excited to get to that are on my wish? I'm like, Nicole, um, okay, let that, lipstick and my Valentino white. I'm like, I just, um, <laughs> um, I just, you, I don't, mm. I feel like I'm speechless. Like, I'm so sorry for being so stupid and dumb, but my brain can't handle the amount of love that I've just received in a single box. I just, I am so full of sunshine and rainbows right now. Like, thank you so much, Nicole, for thinking of me, for wanting to send stuff to me, for wanting to make me happy. Um, Like, you, oh my God. <laughs> 
like at least two of these are going to become a new favorite and every time I look at them I'm going to think of you and think of how you made it possible for me to read them and that's such a wonderful and special thing to share. It's just <laughs> I am literally an emotional mess right now. Like I, I want to cut the cameras dead ass and just go into my bathroom and cry because I'm so overwhelmed by the love and the care and how sweet you are, Nicole. Like, I'm gonna... <laughs> I love you. I love you. They look so pretty together. Wait, I forgot about Remina. I mean, who even cares about Remina anymore? I don't. <laughs> Look! Oh my god, they're gorgeous! Oh my god, wait! I also want to mention, you don't have to send me anything to show your support. Um, this just like, this is going beyond and above. Above and beyond is the phrase, I'm sorry. <laughs> just the fact that you're here and you're watching and you're commenting and sharing your feelings and your thoughts and just sharing, being part of the community is more than enough. You guys mean the world to me, whether or not you send me books and you're all, every single one of you that's watching are very special to me and important too. And you are so loved and you're so appreciated and I hope you know that and if you don't i haven't been doing a well enough job i really do want to find nicole on like instagram or twitter or wherever and just like sell her my kidney i don't know like some way to show her how thankful i am so i think that's what i'm gonna do now um after i finish crying in my bathroom for like 30 to 35 minutes um just like get that off my agenda <laughs> and yeah oh there's another book that i got that i didn't get to unbox Ooh. I also got Kafka on the Shore by Harumi Murakami. Harumi? Haruki Murakami, sorry. Haruki Murakami. I've read one Haruki Murakami book before, Norwegian Wood, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I've heard that this is probably Murakami's best book, and I really want to give him another try because I just keep hearing about Murakami, especially from Emmy. And I feel like my taste in books is also developing, so maybe I'll feel different about Murakami. These are all my new books! <laughs> Before I leave, I did want to update you guys on what I'm currently reading. I have started the audiobook for I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. It was recommended to me by Allison. She has a blog and she has an Instagram and she has a Twitter and she has a YouTube. I'll link all of them down below. Please go send her some love because she deserves it. It's the story of this Korean American bisexual girl who auditions to become a K-pop idol in this survival show that's called You're My Shining Star. The little twist, a little detail is that she doesn't fit the Korean beauty standards, meaning that she's not skinny, she's not non-existent, she is fat, and so she has to deal with a lot of judgment. Our main character, Sky, has to deal with a lot of fat phobia, and it just sucks that the, the place where it comes the most from is from her own family, which is so sad. But I also love that she has such a wonderful relationship with her dad because almost I think, I feel like in every YA contemporary, the relationships between dads are either really bad or non-existent or they just don't have a father. So it's so refreshing to see such a wonderful and beautiful father-daughter relationship. And overall, it's just like a really refreshing, a really fun, a really funny story to listen to and to live in and I feel like I'll be the one is what Dumplin should have been. I read Dumplin um, last year or two years ago and I absolutely hated it. It was promoted as this body positivity type of book because our main character joins a beauty pageant but she's not skinny, she's fat so it has all of those elements but there was body shaming for skinny girls and just girl on girl hate which was horrible unnecessary stupid like leave it back in the stone age so i'll be the one tackles body positivity in such a beautiful way and in such an inclusive way that I just, I just it fills my heart with so much joy every time i hit play on the audiobook i'm just immediately transported into that world and i'm full of you know 
good feelings, my heart is happy, my ears are happy. <laughs> and it's just like a really fun story. It's really refreshing and it's really quick paced as well. Like if you've ever seen a K-pop survival show and you kind of know how this book goes, there's rehearsals, there's eliminations, there's competitions between the contestants. It's just like really exciting and also at times nerve wracking because you don't know what's gonna happen. I also love how the author tackles um, the subjects of homophobia in the Korean industry as well as fat phobia and the emotional abuse that our character suffers from the people around her and the little microaggressions. I also love how unap I also love how unapologetic <laughs> I'm trying to say a word that I can't pronounce. How do you spell that? I love how unapologetically... Okay, I'm gonna say it staring at the camera now. I love how unapologetically... <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love how unapologetically... The, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> but you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? Why though? I hate myself. Okay, I love how Skye is not afraid to be herself. That's what I was trying to say. I love that she's she's just herself. She fills up the room. She she uses up all of her space. She feels confident. She feels wonderful to be in her body. And that type of mindset is so refreshing and it's so fun. And I'm just loving it. Like I don't want the story to end. I want to be with these characters forever. But of course, I'm going to finish in like 30 minutes, sadly. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading vlog. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you guys have been staying safe and healthy and drinking water. If you haven't drunk in water yet today, this is your reminder. You're welcome. And I am going to watch some Yuri on Ice now because that's the anime that I recently started. It is so flamboyant and so amazing. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to watch more episodes of Beauty on Ice and get some work done and finish I'll Be the One by Lila Lee.
Hello my friends, it is the end of another weekly reading vlog. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I had so much fun and it was filled with a lot of surprises, a lot of amazing memorable moments and I'm so glad that I got to share it with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I did want to talk like just a little bit more about I'll Be The One by Lila Lee. I ended up giving it four stars. I was debating between a 3.5 stars and a four stars, but at the end, the amount of joy and happiness that I got from reading that book was so overwhelming and so fun that I couldn't give it anything below four stars. So I'm really happy that I got to read that book. I feel like I read it at a moment in my life where I really needed that reminder of your body is beautiful no matter what it looks like. You should feel confident and feel beautiful no matter the shape of your body or any other outside factor. And I just feel like that book <laughs> filled me up with so much happiness and so much validation i know it's weird and i probably don't seem like it but i'm not like the most confident person when it comes to my body shape and i struggle a lot with how i view myself i'm definitely my own worst critic i'm not very nice to myself which is something that i'm trying to work on so this book was such a lovely reminder and it was just so fun and i had so much fun reading it and Ali was right. This does read like a K-drama and it was just so fun. Just like exactly what I was looking for. So I'm definitely going to be tagging this one as a slump fix because if you are ever in the need for a bright, fun, lighthearted, but also like a very important read, I'll Be The One is definitely the book for you. Let's talk about next week's reading vlog because I already have plans set and you guys already know I love making lists, I love organizing things, I love color coding, categorizing things by different tags, different genres, different anything. Just like if you ever need a personal organizer, call me because I will make the best of it. Next week's plans, I'm going to try out two other tips that you guys sent in to get over a reading slump. And I think that after I check out those two other tips, I am going to be doing like a separate video compiling all of the tips that you guys sent in, like the ones that I tried. So whenever someone is in a reading slump, they can just click on my video and listen to the top five tips and tricks to get over a reading slump. Um, because I have been having so much fun, these tips are working so far. They're like wonderful. They're like straight to the point and that's what I love about them. For next week's reading vlog, we have two very exciting books that I plan on reading. I do have other plans, like other reading plans, but I don't want to be overconfident so I just want to start small see where the week takes us and of course I'll be vlogging every single second of it so stay tuned for that um this is sh I'm not going to spoil it if you're wondering what tips I'm going to be trying out next week you should click on next week's reading vlog <laughs> every time that I post these videos and every time that I see you guys tagging me on Instagram stories um, showing you enjoying my vlogs and just sharing the love it fills me up with so much happiness and I I don't think I'll ever be satisfied with how I'm describing how happy you guys make me i know it's so dumb but you guys mean the world to me like i feel like when i wasn't posting videos there was this part of me that was missing and i didn't realize that it was this and it was you guys until i finally got back into it so i want to end this vlog just saying a very big thank you thank you for being you thank you for loving me thank you for accepting all of my quirks and weirdness and i hope that in my vlogs you can find a space where you feel safe and a space that gives you a little bit of happiness that makes you forget about your worries and your stress even if it's just for 22 minutes or 30 minutes 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry for getting cheesy and sappy all of a sudden, but I really just wanted to share that sentiment with you guys. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a fantastic week whenever you're seeing this. Remember to drink water, do a little bit of exercise, just a little bit. And I hope you guys stay healthy until the next time we see each other. I love you all so much. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going. Thank you.